Hello, my people. Um, this is your Renner from Cali Nate. Um, we've got a ton and ton and ton of boxes to go through today. This came in over the last few weeks, courtesy of great people out there and some online shopping um, that we found good deals on. So without further ado, we got a lot of boxes to get through. So let's get to it. All right, all right. So first up, we have. We're going to do the comics first that came in. This will be last. Because I want to do this one first. This is from my boy, the Tattoo Toy Hunter. Um, I had won one of his, uh, what should I call it, um, giveaways not too long ago. And he just guessed, like, it was about uh, comics. Of course, I know my comics. You know, hey, I do. So I said, I want those ones. And I actually won them. So thank you, Kevin. Um, so what we got is Regenesis, Wolverine and the X-Men number three, and it's kind of cool because it's remember when Wolverine was cool, me either, and of course that's Quentin Quire, who I can't stand, um, but it is a cool cover, I'll, I'll give him that. And then I won Five Ghosts special number one, so freaking awesome, so thank you Kevin, um, if you don't... If you haven't subscribed to him, go subscribe to him. Tattoo Toy Hunter. Um, good dude. He's part of the Tag Team Toy Hunter community um, out there. So go check my boy out. All right. All right. And let's see. We got... Uh, let's do... What is this one first? All right. This is from my boy, Will Freeman. Um, he had a reply auction um, out there. And he hit me up, he said, there's a, there's some books you might want. And I said, really? So I checked it out. And I said, sure enough, there was. Um, so I went and well, they were like dirt cheap too. So um, so had to do it. Had to do it. And these are like ones I got a long time, a while back ago too. Um, So, let's see, what did Will send me in this pile? Because I've got two packages from him. And I'll get to that second package in a minute, so to speak. Man. See, I appreciate good packing. I always do. Especially when it's comic books, because you never know. Things happen in the mail. And you can always tell comic collectors because you see this blue tape best stuff in the world because it doesn't really stick to anything so all your stuff is safe all right. and more blue tape told you we like our, we like our blue tape nothing wrong with that Oh, and by the way, you're going to need some snacks, and you're going to need a lot of food and a lot of drinks, because this is going to be a very, very long one. You guys remember back in Georgia, I had one um, that was about an hour long. Yeah, this one might be about that. So, sorry if you're just watching thinking it's going to be short, because it ain't going to be a short one. I'll tell you right now, it's not. And because... I like doing it in front of y'all, so to speak. Uh, I like doing these ones. I always have. You know? And I don't change the way I've done stuff, and I still won't. I mean, I'll add some editing tips here and there, but that's about it. Um, the best, best thing, though, is just have fun with it, you know? Because when it gets to the point where I don't have fun, I'll stop. You know? And most people do. People. You know, and it's not because people just got tired of it. It's just things change. Oh. All right. And let's see. This one was dated. Oh, this was... Dang it, I was supposed to open the other one first. Well, I'm going to do this one first. 
Okay, so there was a waffle that he had done out there, and he hit me up and he said, do you want part of this? And I said, I sure enough do. When he sent me the picture of the books, I said, let me get in on that. All right, so let's just start out. First, we got 221. If you don't know what 221 is from Uncanny X-Men, this is the first appearance of Mr. Sinister. Had to get it. Um, then we got number 244. Hey, buddy. You got to know what this one is. First Jubilee. So, had to have it. The best part was this, was these ones. As Uncanny X-Men 267. You know, technically it's the second appearance of Gambit. Um, the cameo being, of course, in Days of Future Present Annual that they had. But, this is the, the Grand Buta. First appearance of Gambit. And got this all for a nice, nice price. So, needed this one. And this one is nice, too. It's near mint, people. I needed one like that. There ain't no spine ticks, no nothing on this thing. This one going, probably going to get slapped. That's what's probably what's going to happen with this one. So, Wilfrey, as we call him, thank you, brother. I appreciate you. All right. Next book. Well, this one's coming from Wilfrey, too. Um... So, so let's see what's in this one. Because I looked at the dates wrong. And that's on me. But that was a great deal. You know, I'm not going to get a deal like that again for a while. Except for my boy Fuzz. Fuzz, Mike Pizzini does some great auctions out there. Highly recommend them to anybody out there. Um, if you guys see on the Cindy Comics, that's where I post. I'll post copies to his auctions all the time because that's the boy I trust. Him, Wilfrey, Pete and Groot, and Rick Froge. That's about all I buy from. I buy, bought one from a new guy. Let's see how he does. Alright. Hey. Oh, that. Hey, he didn't. He wasn't playing on this one. This one's tight in there. But it is all good. Because it's worth the wait. I'll tell you that. It always is. And if T-Man's watching me, he's like, what the hell? I'm going to fast forward. Don't fast forward, T-Man. Just hang out. I know you. He'll be looking through this and be like, ah, oh, heck, you know, comic books. Uh, nah, T-Man's good. He, he, he likes books, too. He just doesn't buy them as much as, like, I do. Take all this tape off. That a lot of it. But it makes them make sure that nothing's wrong. And I'm okay with that. Because protection is the best thing in the world. So to speak. As far as conflict is concerned. Um, because so much can get messed up. Don't put them in bubble mailers. Please, for the love of God. You know, don't do it. I mean, that's the thing. Use a flat, like Kevin did. Kevin had a flat stack one. Do that when you're going to send one or two books like that. You know. For these higher end ones. Like these higher end ones sometimes. Like, what we just got, we got 266, you know, it needs to be done like this, just to make sure, because that's a big book, that's a very big book, you know, as far as X-Men line, now, granted, it's not nothing like my Silver Age stuff, or 
um, some of the golden age stuff I have, but it is a big one to me. Okay, and here we go. We got 217, 222, 231, and 232. Now, of course, you guys know I'm working on my X-Men run, so I needed all of these. All right, next one. Next one we got is from Dusty Harris. Now, Dusty actually had an accident. Um, these guys got delayed for everybody, so we all told him to do just take your time. Now, this is the first time I got off of him, so I was kind of wondering, all right, is all my stuff coming or not? But said box is here. He did tracking, so you will have my business again, Dusty. So thank you, brother. All right. And what we got is, we got some some mixtures. Phoenix Resurrection Lenticular Cover. Now, I built this lenticular set up earlier, um, but I did need another copy to go with the Phoenix Resurrection set. So, up there, excuse me. Uh, we got X-Men 36, The Phalanx Covenant. Now, I know it's an old one, but I love my, my old books, especially in the 90s. X-Men 37. Uh, we got Walking Dead number one. And this was, I think, one of the anniversary covers they had had. Um, so, pick that one up. And then, of course, the one book I could never find in the store or anything I got for a dollar. Die, 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 number one. So, we got it. Thank goodness, finally. So, so Dusty, thank you, brother. I appreciate you. And I'll be back. Alright, more comics. And this is coming from my boy Peter J. DeGroote. This has been about four. Actually, this might be about a year's worth of stuff that he found. He was like finding stuff for me at, at LCS's and stuff of things I needed uh, to finish up sets. You guys probably remember, I think it was a long time ago. Um, maybe in Georgia. Yeah, I think it was in Georgia he sent me a box. Um, dang, dude. Yeah. Oh, uh, peanuts. Damn peanuts. Yeah, because... Yeah. Five months worth. <laughs> All right. Let's see, where's the tape start? I'm not even worrying about the bubble wrap because I'll have plenty to go soon. And you guys don't want to be here forever watching me try to untape bubble wrap on comic books. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap them all first. Both sets. Alright, alright, that's good. Right. Pete wasn't playing on this this one. Almost there. Stay with me, people. Because we'll be getting to the toy stuff soon. But we gotta get to the comics first. Alright, alright. Alright, so 
what we got, like I said, this is just some random stuff I've got. Uh, we got Uncanny X-Men, 241, 242, uh, 248. So if you don't know what 248, this is first Jim Lee uh, on X-Men. So I had to get it. Um, trying to finish this setup too. Executioner song. And yeah, and that's 14 and this is 15. Of course, when you build an Uncanny X-Men set, you also got to do the annuals. So I got number 17. And then, uh, okay, yeah. This is part of Secret Empire. And this is part of the epilogue. This is Secret Wars. Of course, it's magic, so I like magic, of course. Uh, the infamous Iron Man, number one. So, love this run. If you've not read it, go get this run now. Bendis did an amazing story with this one. Uh, not like with Superman, but that's my personal opinion. John Burns, next man. You know, love my burn. And this was his first stuff he did by himself, pretty much, as far as like as separate from Marvel. Now, these are kind of homage books. Um, to old stuff. So let me just go over it. We got National Comics, All Star Comics, Adventure Comics, Thrilling Comics, and then Sensation Comics. These are homage to the old Golden Age era of the Justice Society. Uh, as well as the books that these characters are actually were in. Um, we're talking about Mr. Terrific. We're talking about Golden Age Flash, the JSA. Uh, we're talking about the Atom, uh, the Star, Starman, Hawkman and Wildcat, Wonder Woman and Hawkgirl. These are some great reads because it, this is right before they started the JSA run in DC, the new, D, the new JSA. So, Pete, dude. Thank you so much, brother. I really appreciate it. And you guys hang loose. I got to go take these books. And yeah, I got to move them. So we're going to need a lot more room. All right, hang loose. All right, we're back. And so everybody gets excited for Black Friday, right? Right. Well, we all do. There's always great deals and stuff like that. But you guys know I'm also a record collector. Well... There's a black, there's a record store day, Black Friday version. And then there is record store day, which is in April. So seeing as it was Black Friday version of record store day, I had to get some stuff. Now there's something in here I can't show because it's a uh, present. That's all I'm going to say. All right. But this is courtesy of 1234GO Records down in Oakland. Um, I wasn't able to actually go to the actual store, my my uh, local uh, record store, because we just had way too much going on this year with the move and everything, getting everything set up. So, caught them on their sale. They, I got a uh, message, so check out Vinyl Collective. Um, great set of people out there looking out for one another for, for vinyl. Um, so... And so I said, yeah, let me get in on that. So, without further ado, and let's see, I'm trying not to. I hope that was fast enough, because uh, I don't want to ruin it. All right, first up we got Sublime's Greatest Hits, of course. This is the first time ever on vinyl, and there's a flexi disc vinyl inside of it as well. So, freaking awesome. Then we got one of my favorite ones, Chris Cornell. This is When Bad Does Good. It's Stargazer Live at the Paramount on the B side. Of course, this is record, the Record Store Day <clears throat> exclusive, but I can't, I can't wait to hear it. Of course, one of my favorite actors he's funny especially in the 90s some of his stuff recently not been so good uh was adam sandler what the hell had happened to me um of course i've got his all you're all gonna laugh at me earlier in april when it came out so i had to get the companion to go with it 
And then lastly, but not leastly, we got Green River, away in a manger, and the human doing Blue Christmas. So, that is my Black Friday record store day haul, people. Like I said, we got, there's a special in there I can't show you. Um, so, yeah, I see you didn't say that. Look at his split, gone. Um, but yeah, that's what we got this year. Um, I'm gonna put these back together because I gotta go put this in my record. Area. So, you ready for the real, all the toys and all the fun stuff? I bet you are. I know I am. So let's see what we got. All right, first up, Amazon Prime. Um, I bet he's gonna pre-order forever. I, mean, I, I was like, literally, I was like, man, are they ever gonna ship out? And then everybody started getting theirs, and I'm like, where am I at? And I'm like, oh yeah, that's good to change the address. Sometimes it takes a while. Well, I finally got it though. In Dropkick. Well, there's actually a little story behind Dropkick. So, um, first Dropkick actually went to my old address in Ventura. So I called up the people and I said, hey, can you guys forward it to me? They're like, we'll, we'll try our best to see what we can do. Um, because it actually came from an Amazon drop truck versus a USPS one. Because if it would have been the USPS, they would have got the change of address and they're not to drop it there, but drop it here. Well, it got lost somewhere. Um, so I called up Amazon and said, I explained the situation. No crap, one day later, it was already shipped out to me. So, Amazon, you guys did awesome. You dropped it. Alright, another Amazon. They're like these ones, I don't mind the bubble mailers because I don't keep packaging anyways for these guys. Um, but it is KSI Century. Of course, these are both Studio Series. This is number 21, 22, and 23. So, yeah, buddy, we. I'm happy to have them. Okay, what's next? Let's do. Let's do this one. This is from my boy, Toy Robot 818 Go check out his YouTube channel down below. Um, great dude. They, uh, them and the Renegades, they were, they st they're still looking out for me. And I'm still looking out for them too, just like I do for everybody. Uh, and they had saw this and they're like, hey, you, you want this one? I'm like, yeah, I want that one. Because uh, they know I'm a huge collector of these. And dude, that's some serious tape, man. Um, but, uh, John got it, um, literally for me, he, he was at, I think he was at Frank's, um, when he found it, and he said, and he picked it up for me, and he mailed it out to me, so, thank you, brother, I appreciate you. Alright, and let's see, ah, they sent me a Mezco, a little lantern, I like it. All right, <laughs> in a Best Buy bag. What the? Damn it, John! <laughs> he sent me another power pole. He knew I was looking for one a long time ago. Damn it, John! You guys drive me nuts sometimes. I love y'all. Love you, bros. Um, but this is what he found. Go tanks. I needed go tanks bad. Um, so looks good. Can't can't wait to get my shelf set up to put him up there. I need like five more of those little ghost things though. But I don't want to buy five more of those go tanks just to do the ghosts. So yeah, Toy Robot 818, YouTube down below. John, thank you, brother. Alright. Next uh, we got look at this one. This is from my boy Swing Pro seventy one. Go check him out on Instagram. I will put his uh, his IG down below. It is at Swing Pro seventy one on IG. Uh, so definitely go check him out. He found this for me. 
Uh, if you guys remember my previous in my uh, other video from the toy hunt, I just found this after five months of trying to find it. Well, Frank, he had hooked it up and he got it for me. Friday the 13th, part two. This is what we call the knapsack, Jason. Let's see if I get in there. There you go. Yeah, I love this one. That campfire accessory and everything. Man, I've been wanting this one for a while. I've been looking for it for a long time. Oh, come back here. But, so, swing crawl, Frank. Thank you, bro. All right. Next up is... <laughs> it's from him. It, it, it's from my boy, Dudo. So, Dudo, man, that box is already halfway open. Um, he uh, he was at a Target and he found these one day. I said, I need them. I need both of them. And he said, I'll make it up. And I said, I appreciate you. And so what he did is he got me some goodies. And what we got is Alien. One. And two, we got both the brown and the blue to go up with my aliens and predators up there. So, Doo Dog and the Doo Dog Pound. Thank you so much, brother. Figure game. All right. All right, what's next? Let's see. What is this little bitty dude? Uh, all right. Oh, this one's from TFW 2005. I think I gave a dollar for it. Literally, I think it cost me more in shipping than it did for the actual figure. Yeah, three fifty for the the actual thing. Um, but he he had actually messaged me, said, "Hey, I, I know you're looking for this little guy to finish up the set." And I said, like, "Yeah, I need it." And he's like, "How about a dollar?" I said, "Okay, I'll take it for a dollar." So, and as you tell me, this is a wee itchy bitsy box, and it's a wee itchy bitsy transformer. <laughs> Um, just to say the least. Alright. And if you don't know who this little dude is, his name is called Hatchet. Um, I needed a hatchet to go with the Dread Brothers uh, to finish up that set. Um, damn, it's been a while. Alright, so we got, there we go. All right, hatchet. So yeah, I needed him to get, like I said, to go with my Dread Brothers because he is technically part of the Dreadlock Brothers, with you know Crowbar, Crankcase, and uh, Berserker. So definitely needed him. So thank you, thank you so much, Luke. Okay, next is oh yeah. This was a great, now this was a great deal. This was a Black Friday deal that I did. Um, and I actually had to go in store and order it to do it. Um, so I went to uh, GameStop and they were having their deal for like Cyber, or was it Black Friday, Cyber Monday, something, one of those things um, on, on this. So. And so I had to pick it up. I hadn't got it yet, so I needed a copy of it because I haven't played it yet. It's God of War, the new one. Um, so it was brand new, $17. And then I had a $5 gift certificate, reward certificate, whatever it's called with, with new. Used it, so 12 bucks. So this is probably the best, the cheapest deal I found all day long. Um, but it was an awesome deal. Tell you the truth. All right. Here, we're gonna put you guys over here. I don't want you out of the way. I don't want you guys to fall down, break. It's too hard to find you. All right. Next up is from my boy. If I can pick up the box. 
extra zero. Um, yeah, it kind of got smashed right here. So me and zero were actually talking about it, figure out. Hopefully nothing got damaged on the inside. But I know, I know him. He packaged it good, so I'm not worried. If the box is jacked, that's fine. Cause I mean, as long as the figure's okay, that's all that matters, right? Right. So, and guess what? It's just fine. There's a little dent right there, but it's not too shabby. Uh, we got TF Evo, their um, hot rod. Oh, damn, his head fell off. <laughs> let's, uh, let's take him out for a second. Ugh. Yeah. This guy's seen better days. That damn, that damn male shook him all up. I heard he was finicky, too. So, well, let's put his head back on. Ugh. Ah, crappity. See, it's a rolling head. All right. Well, at least it went on easy. And then there's this piece here that went somewhere. Hmm. Where does this go? Oh, I'll figure it out later. But, TF Evo, this is, of course, their, their version of Hot Rod. Um, there is a Unique Toys one coming out as well. Yeah, I know there's some loose panels and stuff. But for a good display piece, it's not too shabby. So, all right. So, thank you, Zero. I appreciate it, brother. Uh, like I said, other than being shaken up a little bit in the box, he's he's good to go. I just got to figure out where that piece goes now. Um, cool box, though. I'm going to say that, though. They, this is a cool setup the way they did these boxes. I wouldn't mind buying more from them. Everything turned out better. Okay, next up we have Target. Um, literally, I saw that on TFW that these were being found everywhere. Um, so I said, okay, let me go find mine. So I checked out the it was a DCPI or DPCI, whatever it is. Somebody correct me down below. Um, and so I went to look at mine, and I said, hey, where's it? It says you got four on stock. And he said, yeah, I see it, but I just don't see them anywhere. I'm like, well, that's weird. He said, but we can just order it and ship it to you. I said, well, that, that'll work too. So we got the Studio Series, then and now. I think that's what it's called. Then and now series. This is number 24 and 25. Of course, Bumblebee. This is the rusted Volkswagen Chevy Camaro version. Um, it came from, I think, Age of Extinction, or no, the last night. So, had to get it. You know, you guys know me in Studio Series. Love, love how they do it. So, had to get it. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see. What's next? We got. Let's do that one. Like I said, this is going to be a long one, people. I mean,. Got a lot to go through. Okay. Ooh. This, of course, one of my favorite places to shop at for bots and stuff. Of course, it's the Chosen Prime. Uh, Brandon and Kimberly out there, they do amazing work. Thank you guys for everything you all do. And I shall see you guys at TFCon this year, hopefully. All right. They had a deal that I needed badly. And there's a reason. Um, there's a couple of holes up here on my masterpiece shelf. Alright. And I needed some of these. First one I needed that I got is Toro, which of course is Cliff Jumper. I missed out on the initial sale of it, and that's all my own fault. Um, so, needed cliff jumper, but this guy is the one I wanted the most, because I needed it, 
That's Retgar. Needed Retgar to go with my Season 3 show. Uh, when Chosen Prime had some great deals going with their um, Cyber Monday, Black Friday sales. So, oh, off my stuff. Um, so, had to go with it and get it. So, Chosen Prime, thank you guys so much. Yeah, I can't wait to actually mess around with Toro, too. You know, I, everybody needs a clip jumper. If you can get a clip jumper and you're a Transformer fan, go get a clip jumper. You know? Alright, next up, we got. Who's that one? Alright. This one is from Toy Arena. Now, Toy Arena had a huge Cyber Monday sale. I mean, a huge sale. Like, I haven't seen stuff this cheap ever. Ever seen it this cheap. So, I had, to, I had to stock up. So, let's see. Don't you fall down. Alright, so, put you over here. Easier to take you out this way. Yeah, whatever. Um, and that's some serious packaging. Alright, we got ourselves a Sonicron. Now, I haven't had one of these ever. I remember they came out from BTS Toys a long time ago. I think like five years ago, six years ago. Something like that. But wanted to get one, and it was $5. $5. And I was like, yeah, I'll just, just give me that for $5. I'll take it. And then... I have a hole in my DBZ collection. I need the SH Figuarts version of this, but this will suit for now. Uh, this is the figureized version, so it's just for display, so it'll work just fine. We got my Android 18. Then I need to this for my generation set. Uh, this is Legends RC. Uh, I needed that one to go with with my chug collection because I've got a uh, chug little setup over here uh, for those guys for season three, season two, and one. Um, so need an RC, so we got her. And then lastly, this is one I was shocked to see. Very, I mean, it was on deep sale. Unique Toys Sorter. Now this is Sandstorm. If you guys don't know who that is, um, Sandstorm was in season three. Season four for a little bit, uh, but he, he is a triple changer. Now I haven't never had this one, never ain't had this. So that's a double mega. So I have not had this one before. Um, so I needed it to go with my with my guys. Like I said, he's going up there with those guys. So bring it on. We got Sorter. You know, Sandstorm. Okay. And we still got a lot more to go. So let's push this up. Push these up a little bit. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff, people. You know, and I couldn't do it without all you guys. I mean, it really couldn't. You know, you guys take care of me. So thank you guys. All right. Put you there. Move you up. Put you there. All right. All right. And put you there. Give myself a little room. So the last couple we've got. Uh, let's do this one. Okay. All right. This is for my boy, Plastic Addict, George Johnson. So brother, uh, he had found this for me a, a while ago, and I said, hey, just wait out until I get moved in and everything. So he said, I got you. So Plastic Addict, dude, thank you so much, man. You know, I've been hunting this dude down forever, trying to find this guy. Everybody else that already done had theirs for a while. Uh, but he found it first, I think, out of our group. Uh, so, yeah, buddy. And it is Studio Series Iron High. Finally got my Iron High. Everybody else been finding it. I've never found it in the store yet. Still haven't found it in the store yet. I don't think I'll ever will. I think it's one of those 
unicorn, magical unicorns people talk about. Um, but George, thank you, brother. I appreciate it. He's got. I've got my studio series here and here, so he'll be finding a home over there somewhere. Okay. Now I played in a part of a um, secret secret Santa giveaway through uh, Cybertron Cafe, and so they did a thing through a, a thing called Elfster, and it was random, like you didn't know who was going to be your secret Santa and stuff. So um, I'd already sent my stuff out a while ago, uh, so they should already have their gifts. So I got mine, and I was figuring maybe like one gift, you know, something like that, but. They sent three boxes of stuff. So what did they send? Mm, let's find out. Now this is from eBay to me. Interesting. Let's see. Holy shit. What the? This, I just haven't picked it up yet. It is the model kit, the, the attack mode uh, model kit Optimus. You know, I mean, the, the pecs you know, are different, you know, but the whole torso is built that way, so it's not so bad. Um, Dang, dude. I don't know who got me this, but you were freaking awesome. Thank you. Man. That's going to be fun. See, there was two versions of this one. There was the original one that was not painted, and there was this one that is painted. I'm all about not painting people. Nate be lazy. He don't like to paint. I guess I don't do many guns. Man. All right. Ah. He made a mistake. He put his name on here. I ain't gonna say your name on here because you might not like that. But I know where you're at now, so now I'm gonna come get you, so to speak. We're like, all right. It was kind of cool. We were doing uh, wish lists and stuff like that. You know, like things we wanted. You know, there, there's a lot of stuff I have on mine, of course. Um, but. Okay, so this is, oh, Code of Akita. Oh, these are like those deformed um, ones. This is Starscream and Skywarp. Okay. And there's a Nemesis, or a Black Convoy, Starscream, Megatron, Optimus. Oh, this is cool. I think it's already open. Or if this is like one you gotta put together. Yeah, model kit. Yeah, we ain't gonna unbox this right here. So yeah, a model kit. I don't, mind, I don't mind these guys. I, I like doing these ones. Like those ones and these figure eyes, I don't mind doing those all day. All right. So let's see. The last box comes from Amazon. All right, let's see. What is this in this one? Man, this is really a secret sign. It's like, no crap, you have no idea what you're getting. Holy snakey. Damn. Oh man, I've been wanting this one. Voltron. This is the mini plus or super mini plus set. T Man actually did had this one. And I looked at it one time at at uh, Barnes and Noble, I'm like, nah, not for that price, but dude. So he sent me three model kits. Freaking A. That's amazing. Dude, thank you. Um, like I said, I got your name, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be hitting you up again. But like, dude, what you doing? Uh, but yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, now, to the last set of packages. 
These are all courtesy of my boy, T Man 978. Um, he was actually the first person that sent me a package here. Um, and he was like, You there yet? I want to send stuff to you. I'm like, Yes, I, I, I'm, I'm finally here. Yes, here's my address. So, um, but yeah, T Man got me some stuff. So, let's see what he got me. This is the uh, first package. And the first time was, was like, there was a hole right here. I'm like, Oh crap, that's not good. So, but. It, I didn't see a name on it. Who is it from? Other than Amazon. And then at the bottom it says, Hey, Nate Simmons, courtesy of T-Man. So, we're just going to use that hole. Let's open this thing. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. Voyager Star Screen. Number 21. Man, I got a lot of studio series today. Oh yeah, needed him to go with them. Granted, he's just a repaint, but I always like the tattoo look better from Revenge of the Fallen on him with that blade. So, freaking A. Now the funny part is, T-Man and I were talking about this a long time ago. They should have had one of these guys. Like, this Deco would have been good, but then have both of the weapons in there. And then that would have been a solid one. He actually got um, the oversized one sent to him. And it had tons of accessories. It had everything in it. So uh, go check out that review. He did it a long time ago, but it was a great review. All right. And then ship from to Nate Simmons, courtesy of T-Man 978. I have no idea what's in here. You said I'd like it. Oh, oh, that is cute. It is, <laughs> it's a onesie for Emma. Um, and it says, Autobots roll out. Dude, that is awesome, man. I really appreciate that. She's definitely wearing this one. Uh, Jess is going to like this one, too. Dude, thank you, man. Okay. Last package of the night, people. And then the next video probably won't be as long. Um, but this is, of course, like I said, from my boy, T-Man978. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Er everybody here, dude. I really thank everybody uh, for everything you've done. And he's like, you're opening your packages, right? And I'm like, yes. So, he sent me a uh, trigger happy. I needed him. And the reason why I needed him because I've got repugnance and I've got grotesque. You got to have trigger happy to finish it up. Uh, he, oh, yeah. So he sent me a uh, fire drive. I needed fire drive. He was the last one I needed from the Battle Masters. And then... He got me Bumblebee on the last night. I didn't have Bumblebee. I mean, as funny as it is, I didn't have him because I, I couldn't find him. I, this one guy never showed up anywhere. I still need crosshairs. Um, but, and then, I got a, I don't know what this is. I don't know. I think this fell out from your office, brother. Um, last but not least, we got a bag of Uts barbecue chips. I love Uts. So, he, he knows which ones I want. Every time he sends me something like, I want Uts. Um, so, yeah. Huge haul, people. There's a lot of stuff. Um, I do want to give a big shout out to everybody. Thank you guys so much. Um, from... Amazon to Swing Pro to Do Dog to Chosen Prime to uh, Plastic Attic, uh, Toy Arena, uh, Target, GameStop, Big John 8, or not Big John, Toy Robot 818, TFW, Extra Zero, 
um, my Secret Santa, and then of course T Man Nine Seven Eight. Thank you guys all from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. This is this is awesome. That's all I can say. Thank you guys, and you guys have a Merry Christmas. And uh, if I don't see you guys for a while, that's okay. Because you know why? I want you guys to enjoy it with your families. Have fun this Christmas. Go out there, have a good time, take care of one another, be be kind to one another, and have fun. So this has been Urena from Cali Nate. I know this was a long video, but I warned you. So have fun. Alright, take care everyone. Have a good night. Alright, alright, alright.